Hello guys, today I am going to show you the overview of uh, 2015 launched. Actually here come up with a lot of features. So here I am planning to show you how to create the MEC project as well as Web API with the framework 4.5.2 version uh, MVC file. So let me go directly and create the project in file new project if you open the project you have the list of things uh, here actually one uh, benefit is you will get a configuration of ios apps and uh, you can confer with the cloud applications we have uh, like uh, azure web jobs so lot of uh, features uh, come up uh, with a visual studio 50 so you can go through it will be very good actually so in visual uh, web uh, we have uh, three set of things class libraries and the explorer and web applications and console applications packages we have so framework up to here is uh, 4.6 4.6 uh, is uh, like uh, asp.net v next version it's uh, going to release now in a beta stage so future i will come up with those videos also so, so here if you go here in uh, basics we have almost basics it's uh, like going to like a death but uh, still it is alive in some areas it is still uh, microsoft on to uh, get into that maybe in future versions we will get some good uh, things in it uh, f also we have here f -sharp we can uh, do some uh, toolings uh, by, like financial that i, I will uh, tell you detail about what is uh, visual f -sharp if the people don't know about it okay fine uh, let me go and create the web applications uh, in C sharp I directly select the web in web application I'm just to uh, give some like test app so that uh, uh, we'll be aware like we are going to create only test app okay here there is one more pop-up it's opening it shows me like uh, MD web forms uh, MVC the API single page applications so what it is all about is we have the description you just go into that it is not a much uh, deep things like even uh, uh, beginners can easily get into that you can uh, go through with the links of uh, microsoft uh, website you will get uh, all the ideas so let me go and create ms mvc applications with along with the web api so i have the option to select both the things at a time so i just uh, planning to add my unit test over here so default i uh, it, it takes the project name as test apps dot test so i don't want to host in uh, cloud actually now this feature come up with visual studios to host uh, in the cloud azure server so you will get some free account over here you can host it and you can access this application anywhere it is like a free open source kind of things it will be very good actually features for a developer to develop it okay uh, this section is uh, like a preview of uh, uh, asp.net v next so this is now in a beta stage uh, i don't want to touch this now uh, let it uh, come develop uh, in future video i will come up brief about these things so let me go and create the mec applications so uh, this mec applications why i am selecting because we will get some uh, default generated code so that uh, come up with uh, libraries so if you go and select the empty you can uh, develop whatever you needed in the architecture so i don't want to uh, disturb in uh, any of this because uh, microsoft give you the good architecture and a good uh, sample uh, to run and uh, see for the beginners okay let me go and create the applications for me it's just uh, building all my libraries along with the uh, designs calf code so uh, in uh, 15 uh, that is uh, uh, futures uh, things major if you want to see uh, for authorization for login identity at all they improve very lot actually if you go and see the code you will get uh, like if you want to manage the roles there is a very clear cut ideas provided by the microsoft this time and even more secure too okay for me uh, i got the application so uh, if you go on to create me the same 
you will get the default version of these things you can go and uh, start your application because a lot of uh, tutorials uh, uh, by microsoft and some open source uh, knowledge shareable guys uh, share a lot of uh, things in it so it is uh, much easy you can get all the stuffs in the internet so now i have the architecture with the views controllers and the models so uh, global ABX, whatever you have your uh, package configuration you have start up whatever the needed uh, to be happen everything is mentioned over here in web configure whatever your configuration files everything you have in it so if you go in account controller here uh, they implemented the new concept called Ovin okay and Katna Ovin security is very advanced model that implemented by Microsoft uh, here uh, if you go and uh, find the deep things a lot of uh, customization things is happened here to avoid lot of uh, functionality return to manage your authorization and authentication logics so it is very good platform to understand easily here uh, so, some little bit tough coding will be happen but you need to understand as a beginner uh, it will be a little bit tough if you are an experienced guy you can easily got uh, what are the things and one more thing uh, here uh, the concept of uh, like asynchronous and await they implemented uh, that you know uh, uh, if not this is uh, the c-shop the latest version it is available asynchronous concept is very good actually uh, it is uh, very good and you can uh, run the multiple uh, threads in a uh, single slot it is very good actually uh, I will explain you uh, this concepts clearly in the c -sharp tutorial so uh, this is my uh, sample application that I uh, got from the tutorial so a lot of uh, benefits you got from here uh, you, you already have the build up things with controllers all the accounts and things I just go on to uh, run my application So uh, here uh, they configured all the design works with the bootstrap with the standard codings. So you no need to worry about the design much over here. So, so my application is running. Uh, it's the first time so it's building all the libraries. Actually uh, there is one more feature is also implemented here. I will explain you that. So in previous uh, versions 2012 whatever you are uh, changing your, in your code uh, it will take uh, a bit uh, or we have to rebuild all the dlls to reflect the changes in the browser but here it is not like that we have the option to re reload the browser without a uh, new uh, browser refresh so how it is happening it is a very uh, good uh, thing implemented by small example i will show you we go that just a view in a home page default is index so uh, this is the page it's opened here for me so here uh, i just want to edit dot uh, net uh, asp or something like that uh, just to go here simply i just uh, remove this one i just save here we come uh, back to the browser if you refresh the browser You will get it and one more uh, option that uh, i have is like if you go and uh, remove all the stuff here delete save okay so i just want to run it A lot of customization improvements happened uh, in uh, 2015 it is very user friendly developer friendly to avoid lot of uh, uh, communication cap uh, with the developers on the uh, standard uh, tool we can expect more good things from the Microsoft uh, uh, for a dot net uh, platform so now uh, the vision is very clear for the Microsoft to go with a V next stage it will be very good it it uh, uh, reduce a lot of uh, page load times everything 
so it is very uh, essential to learn all the things along with the new technology don't uh, uh, stuck with the old one oops it's taken a bit time for me so initial times of my uh, system ramps also a bit slow for me You can see this uh, things. Uh, example, uh, I just uh, remove my learn. Okay, I no need to refresh whatever the page. Suppose if I open multiple tabs, I just uh, click uh, reload symbol here. My browser got refresh from my end, and it's get cleared. So like lot of customization things has happened. I just explain you only how to create the. I am missing applications like over you uh, to start up uh, things so good luck guys I will come up with uh, some uh, good videos future uh, to tell you deep about the visual studio 50 thanks for watching the video